Hello and hi, welcome back to Educate WordPress where we talk everything and all about WordPress. I'm Aisha and in this video we're going to see how you can limit your login attempts in your WordPress website. So if you have a WordPress website, uh, you might need uh, logging in, like multiple users might be there. And also there are a numerous attackers that's waiting to grab your data from your WordPress website. So you don't know, like you might think that my website uh, is a very small website and nobody wants to get into that. But inside that, you uh, they might even uh, get access to your email or and pub, uh, private information. So it's better to be safe. So uh, here uh, we have this uh, amazing plugin, which is limit login attempts uh, through which you can uh, actually uh, limit the users or the attackers or anyone who's trying to get into the video uh, getting to your login and get the data so uh, when you're in the vp admin uh, there might be a so some common uh, factors that in your uh, like username if uh, some uh, like most of the common username is admin so if they can try to uh, guess the password or anything or uh, there are if there are multiple uh, options there uh, there can be the chance of them uh, getting into the your website so in order to prevent that we are using uh, a plugin and we'll see how this is done so before we get into the do video don't forget to subscribe as we come up with videos on woocommerce and wordpress every now and then to get your website performance up and top so we're going to install a plugin. So the plugin is called the limit login attempts uh, reloaded. Uh, so there was another plugin which was limit login. Uh, so uh, they have just bought the new version within this. So this already has 1 million plus uh, installation. So we're going to install the plugin. We're going to go to plugin and add new. And we're going to search for limit login. Basically, just going to search it and I'm sure uh, there might be this. Yes, this has 1 million plus active installation. So you know the importance of this plugin by the number of uh, installations. So uh, this uh, th uh, this plugin is more uh, compatible to the all of the new uh, new version. Uh, this reloaded plugin. So we're going to install uh, and activate this. So once activated, you can actually see uh, an option uh, over here in the dashboard we're going to see this right now yes so this is the page uh, that uh, we're taken into so in the dashboard you can see the limit login attempts option is also there so uh, there's other more information about this and also they have a, a guide so they also have a premium version with all the site admin multiple domains and forums uh, traffic uh, to uh, uh, get hold of all those things as well so we're going to this uh, setting and here you can you can see that uh, there's a dashboard uh, for which you can actually see how many logins or how many attempts are made by the uh, many uh, many external factors so uh, all these tools are uh, like up, uh, you want to upgrade into premium to get to know about uh, which country to uh, like make, get the analytics basically so uh, we, we, we don't want that. We're just going to the uh, setting. And the one great thing about this plugin is it is according to the GDPR compliance. So uh, if you have seen the video on uh, privacy policies, you must have, uh, I must, I have explained what is GDPR compliance and CCPR. So you can, uh, you can check, uh, check this out. And uh, this is GDPR message that's also shown in the website. So uh, another thing is uh, here, uh, there's a notify on lockout. So if uh, any webs, uh, anything is uh, logged out of your, uh, any account is logged out, uh, you can get a mail uh, on your uh, registered uh, mail ID. So you can just uh, click it. But if, uh, if there is too many, too many of this uh, uh, mail coming, you can just uh, untick it. That's not important. Anyways, they're getting locked out. So you can uncheck this as well. So uh, there can be a reload the page to see settings uh, that, uh, that also you can uh, activate it. So uh, here, this is the local app. So here, uh, here are the main settings. So this can be seen some uh, somewhat confusing, but uh, let me explain. Uh, first is uh, how many retries like one person gets like if they attempt like two times, three times, four times, how many times you want 
them to get locked out so that's uh, that's the number you're going to give here i'm just going to give three and if that person make three attempts there by there will be a 20 minute lockdown uh, lockout so you can choose that as well so i'm going to just uh, click uh, 60 uh, let's say 60 so uh, three tries and they are uh, logged out for 60 minutes so if they again make uh, like uh, this number let's give two they after 60 minutes when they try again uh, they have two tries so in that two tries if they try uh, they try it and uh, that attempt fail then the lock will be extended for uh, 24 hours so, so lockout time time is 24 hours so you have uh, again 24 hours until the re, uh, retry to reset so there's a time for reset option so anyways you are 24 hours uh, increased to, to lock uh, lockout time so total of let's say 24 hours you have been locked out and then only then after that only 20 after 24 hours later you can only reset that uh, setting so uh, i hope this is clear so three tries and if the three try uh, three tries fail this is 60 minutes lockdown and after that 60 minutes uh, the person get two more tries and if that two more tries uh, they failed then they get 24 hours lockout and then there's 24 hours until uh, someone retries and reset the options so that's uh, that's pretty much about uh, the local app then there is a custom app you can set up code uh, if you have anything so that that's all about that then you can just save the settings so you can also get the logs so here in the logs you can save list uh, and uh, block list that that's basically whitelist and blacklisting so whitelisting means which are your trusted sources so you can add the ip address and the username so i don't recommend you uh, giving the usernames and you can just give the uh, ip address for the safe uh, safe list in the safe list you can give your ip address you can just uh, go on to the google and look for your ip address that's easy so you can list out the uh, trusted ip address if you have like uh, you and your fellow uh, admins or users of your website you can add their ip address over here then there is block list so uh, you don't want to block a particular ip since uh, whoever uh, from that ip is trying to visit your website or tries to uh, log in all those uh, might be uh, locked for the future so uh, you don't want to add the ips but you can use the username so uh, there are some common usernames like uh, like uh, let's say admin admin on, uh, is one of the most common usernames and anybody can guess it like uh, you, anybody can guess it so you can just uh, block list that uh, particular username so they'll get uh, logged out uh, of their uh, log, logged out uh, easy then there is wp admin uh, also your website name like my website name is Aisha so that's uh, that's also another username then uh, there is uh, a to z shopee which is my website uh, shop name so you can use that uh, like Aisha admin so these are the common username list you can add yours like maybe admin or what are the common uh, common names that you use so you can just list out those usernames over here so uh, you can just save the settings so this is pretty much it so anybody then tries to log in uh, lo uh, get into your uh, website they'll be shown into uh, another page you can see the screenshot over here so like you will get uh, incorrect username or password and that get three attempts remaining uh, and also uh, there will be error message like too many failed re login registration please try again after 20 minutes i have set into 60 minutes also you can reset the password which is uh, again after 24 uh, 24 hours so this is the uh, settings page that's it so this is how uh, like uh, the end results is going to come out so that's it that's uh, that's how you can log limit the login attempts uh, for, and you can safeguard your website from all the attackers and uh, external factors so hope this video helped you and if there is another questions or doubt regarding any wordpress and woocommerce related queries do drop in the comments and we'll be happy to help don't forget to like subscribe and we'll see you in another video bye